44 p.m. 24th November 2020. Um, so uh, I've been uh, looking through like, uh, what do I do with my life? What what job do I do and all of this? So and I saw some. Uh, videos on YouTube about this, you know, how to change your career, um, how to follow your passion. <laughs> and I thought they were very, they were sort of touched on different issues, I think. Um, so I was very stressed out because I was looking through this like this uh, jobs um, like this the Australian government has has got this um, thing called my skills where you can uh, you know like let's say you wanted to change your job or look I am changing my career I am starting my career uh, so like they even got another one for apprenticeships. I was saying, I was trying to figure out hey, so how do I become an apprentice. Uh, they always got something called an adult apprentice. I don't know, we're gonna look that. Uh, yeah, adult apprenticeships. And there's another one about like job pathway charts. Like, uh, if you want to work in forest and wood, wood products, uh, like sewing, yeah. So all these qualifications you can get to work like a vocational thing. Well, so that's the same. That's on the same website. Apprenticeships. Yeah, I'll link it. I'll uh, link those. YouTube videos as well. So I was so stressed out. I was like, oh, this is so difficult. And how am I going to make money? How am I going to like buy a house and all of that? And then I realized, after I saw the YouTube videos, I was like, look, I don't need to do this. I don't need to follow one's path. Like, I don't need to just choose one career and stick to it. Like, uh, there was this one person talking about like uh, how they do many different kinds of jobs uh, and uh, you know like you don't have to stick to one path and um, another person was talking about like I thought my dream was to do this but I ended up uh, finding that uh, what I wanted was to find myself or something like that like it, you know it's about self-discovery you know but yeah another, another person was talking about like how um not many people uh really know what they want <laughs> they just do it, they just pick a career because it's just a combination of all these various factors like where you grow up your uh, gender and class and race and you know all of that just your family, your, your colleagues, your, they all combine to, and then you end up choosing something, you know, you know, uh, you know external factors, but what about the internal? What about the internal? What is driving you? What do you want? And, and apparently, like, that is, like, one of the hardest things. There's a quote, quote by Cicero, a person, uh, in their talk. Ooh. These are, these are TEDx talks. I'm, uh, I was like, finding what you want to do is apparently it is the most difficult thing. The most difficult thing. And I, I, I agree with that. It's like, it seems so overwhelming. I feel like I have to make the right, perfect decision. I cannot, I cannot, you know, mess up. This has to be the perfect decision. But then they said, oh, embrace the messiness. It's messy. Embrace the messiness. I think that was a, a talk by Sharon Belden Castan Jay. 
The Psychology of Career Decisions. So anyways, I'm like... <sighs> yeah, I'm just so tired and exhausted. And I'm just gonna like... Uh, you know how I say that I'll go to Perth or something? And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I will go to Perth. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just, uh, you know... Oh, oh, another, someone else, uh, what, what's the video, it's like, chasing dreams and beginning again. This person, like, uh, was much older, like, uh, maybe in the 50s or something. Uh, is that the one? No, 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 that's not the one. I said. That's the wrong video. That's another person. How to begin again, Beverly Willett. Uh, and, you know, like... You know, they sold all their positions and, and the house and and it, uh, she said that oh when I sold all my positions I felt happy I felt like a, a, a weight has been lifted off my soldier shoulder and I'm like look at all these positions I have they're like holding me down and I'm like thinking yep I have to declutter so so be, so I'm thinking like I'm gonna declutter and and maybe get a you know Maybe I'll sell some things on uh, eBay, you know, all these th gadgets like I really don't need or use. I only keep the essentials and, and you know, just, <sighs> yeah. And, um, you know, just, uh, you know, save some money and, 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 yeah, go to Perth. And what am I going to do once I get there? I have no idea. I think that's the whole point. It's like what's the narrow part of it's that's the video that that's the video was uh how to find your pet passion no that's not it uh chasing dreams and being <laughs> anyway that's the one i came from <sighs> anyway yeah just you know just i don't have to have it all figured out I can just sort of go out there and just do it, you know. Yeah, one of my uh, things I want to do, yeah, I, what I want to do is to move out. That's one of the things I want to do. Now, what do I, where do I want to go? Or oh, what am I going to do? I don't know. But maybe that's the thing. You, you don't, I don't have to know. You know, I don't have to know. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be messy and all of that. That is so liberating. Like I don't have to buy a house. I don't have to uh, pick a career that I'm gonna uh, do through the rest of my life. I don't have to be search for security. I can live with insecurity. I can live with, you know, job insecurity. Or, or you know, I can live with all that. It is so liberating to know that I can do anything what I want. Like my my possibilities are still there. I don't have to, you know be held down yeah. obviously um, you know I guess I don't know I mean you know I don't know how the world will be if everyone did what they really wanted I mean yeah I don't know how the world will be if people actually did what they wanted I don't know what kind of a world that would be do we need people who are going to always hold the fort down while others do what they want it? <laughs> is doing what you want a luxury, a privilege, or, or is it something that everyone can do? Uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm um, I'm figuring things out and I don't have to like settle on one thing for the rest of my life. I can always change. I can always do something different. Uh, 